Hello everyone and welcome back to Moonstone Island. My name is Melanie V. It is now Wednesday the 17th of fall. Okay, uh, should we get some stuff put away? I'm wondering if I can donate this dark matter to Zed. Let's take it with us and see if we can. And we'll put a few things away in here. Um, I don't think we should have this in here. Let's get it out of there. And we'll put these moonstones we found. Actually, we should make some more moonstone ingots, shouldn't we? Yeah, we'll make a couple. We'll see what else we can actually make on our moonstone enchanter. So we can make a beacon. Use to mark locations. I don't know if we need that. A moon grass bird stall. Moon grass grows without needing to be watered. Any spirits assigned to this doll is fed automatically each day. Oh, so it's like an auto feeder. <laughs> oh boy, look what it needs to make it though. It needs a whole moonstone. Okay, that's going to be useful eventually. And an alchemist tent. We don't really need one of those. An alchemist cabin though. I think we need that. I don't want to use my wood. And a tree fort, a home and a tree containing a pocket dimension that can be turned into a home. Okay, the mirror of introspection, we've already got that. A loom, used to craft custom floor tiles and wallpaper, don't need that just yet. And a haunted house, a spooky home containing a pocket dimension that can be turned into a home. And the alchemist tower. A towering abode for a budding alchemist containing a pocket dimension that can be turned into a home. These are all things that we will get eventually, I think. There's a science center home and a sigil chalk. Oh, I wonder how we unlock this. I guess we will eventually find out. Now, do we need to make anything here? I think we should get like some sort of electrical resistant potions. Yeah, like this one, Moonstone Charm of Electric Resistance. So we'll need a spark and one Moonstone Sheet. And we need three ingots to make that. Ugh, that is pricey. Okay, well we got one ingot ready here. Let's get another one brewing. And we'll get another one in here too. Oh, we didn't actually start this one last time. Okay, we'll start it now. And we'll be sure to start this one too. Oh, there we go. So we got one whole moonstone ingot here now. Now we can put this away, this away. I'll need some more fiber for my spirits. And I think we can just leave the coal right here. Okay, seeds. Um, I think I want to move the seeds into the greenhouse. We don't have to do that right now, though. I mean, does it matter? Yeah, might as well just do it. Move. Move you. And... How can we just do the whole stack? I guess there is no way to just transfer the whole stack without like actually moving it. Oh, no, there is. I just have to press the right buttons to do it. Okay, we got a bunch there. Okay, let's see how our spirits are doing. Here is our cumulo level 25. Look at this guy. Let's look at his stats. So yeah, 110 HP. That is fantastic. Maybe we should get this guy on our team now. So let's move him to our medallion. We'll have to say goodbye to Capacity. Sorry, Capacity. 
We still love you though. Oh, capacity has a level up. Um, let's give him some more power. And we'll give him this really nice overload plus. Okay, and maybe we should just, you know, set some of these spirits free. And that way we don't have to make any extra spirit stalls. Because a lot of these guys, we don't really need to keep them. They're very low level. And they're probably never going to join the team. But right now, our inventory space is full, so we can't really collect anything. Because I filled it up with a bunch of seeds. I guess we can collect the clay. Since we already have some of that in our backpack. Okay, just a few more to feed. Some for you and you. And you too, Bonefire. Okay, let's grab a couple more clay. And off we go. So I'm going to transfer all of these seeds into the chest in the greenhouse. Oh, got some stuff to collect out here. Some will o wisps some planterns. Very nice. Okay, so we'll just put seeds in. And we'll probably grab the grumpkins out of here. We'll have to be on a lookout for another boss chest. That can stay in here. And out we go. Oh, we got some will-o'-wisp seeds. So now I wonder if we plant these, if they have a higher chance of just having extra experience on them. Because technically, they are like, fertilized, so... Who knows? I love getting all these freebie seeds. Okay, let's grab all of the flag flowers. So since we're just getting freebie flag flowers, uh, I think we should just plant them. What else are we going to do with them, right? So how much did we get? Look at that, 14 free flag flowers. That is fantastic. I think I'm planting these in the greenhouse. Because we do have that water space that we can use. So, there you go. Eight on that side, eight on this side. Oh, we ran out of space. That's fine. Let's go see Zed and see if he can take this dark matter. Oh, we got some mail. From Farah. Hello everyone, this is Farah. Asona said I have to say sorry for being a public nuisance. I'm only doing this so she will let me back in the tavern. <laughs> okay, and there is Quill. Hey Quill. I had a really cool dream last night, so I wrote it down when I woke up. I looked at my journal just now. It just said there is a world where a pig is really great. <laughs> I adore Quill. Um, would you like a heat plant? Yes, he definitely does. We're up to three hearts now. And we'll chat with him three times. Well, we can joke too. There we go. Okay, see you, Quill. We should ask him on another date. But I think the last two times we went on a date with him, we actually stood him up, so... That's not very nice. Okay, let's see if we can donate the dark matter. Have you ever hatched a spirit? That must be wonderful, getting to raise them yourself. 
Yeah, I've done it a few times. Yes, we can sell the dark matter. 600 coins. Nice. And let's have a little chat with Zed. Oh, two out of three ain't bad. And let's go ahead and sell the clay. And that's all we can sell, but that gave us a few coins. And let's turn in our spirit research. Okay, we got a few new ones on there. So that gave us 770 coins. So now we can actually afford our greenhouse upgrade. Okay, see you. See you, Zed. Let's get out of here. So there's only two more spirit poos we need to find. I wonder what types of spirits those are. Okay, so for our greenhouse, we'll need to get our wood again. Hey, Rowan. Have you ever fallen off your broom? I hope not. You'd totally die, and we'd never find out. Oh, gosh. You're so negative, Rowan. Let's have a few chats. He is almost as difficult as Guyana is for friendship. Okay, see you, Rowan. Okay, let's go grab our wood. And I'm gonna take the five wood that's in my backpack right now, make some more bridges. So we got, need some stone for that. And we'll take two stacks. And all of the wood out of there. So let's make five more bridges. Or four more bridges? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that's all we're making. So we have a hundred stone, no, two hundred stone, two hundred wood. That's what we need. Okay, let's see if Ophelia and Guyana are here. They are. Do you find it relaxing to raise your own plants? For me, it's like meditation. Okay, shop. Greenhouse upgrade. Let's do it. Yes. The upgrade should be ready by tomorrow morning. Perfect. So our next upgrade is going to be for 10,000. It's going to be triple this size. 250 wood, 250 stone. Okay, we can handle that eventually. Let's have a little chat. And we're still at just one hard wood Ophelia. I wonder what she likes. Hey, Guyana. Oh, it's you again. Look, I will admit that it's nice to have a new face in town. Just, just buy something already. She's so friendly. Okay, see you. Let's check out our seed donations. I really want to find this last ghost room. I haven't encountered it yet. So there must be some islands out there we haven't really explored. Okay, um... We need an electrical resistant potion. Do we have one that's already made that's for re <laughs> that we don't have to use up resources for? This one resists 50% of electric damage. When kept in inventory... Oh. Oh, it's a charm. Oh, so the charms you just get to keep on you permanently. Oh, this is so good. So I don't really need to have two of them. I can sell one. Well, that is pretty cool. And we got some will-o'-wisps here. So maybe I should actually feed these to my spirits. Um, who are we gonna feed? I mean, we do have a brand new teammate, but Gavlin is ready for a level up. 
what are we gonna do? More armor? No, more power for Gemlin. So we can do Avalanche or we can do Furry of Blows. Deals 19 or damage twice. I'm going with that one. And maybe we can use a Meditate. Okay, Gemlin, this is for you. So Furry, Fury of Blows. Let's do that. And we'll give him another one. I know I give special treatment to Gemlin, but he's my favorite. I can't help it. So, deals 57 earth damage. Now, it doesn't show a difference up here, but it actually does make a difference. So, we're going to do that one. And let's see what we can cleanse from his pile. Um... That's a good card. We'll keep that. That's a good card, too. <laughs> Most of Gemling's cards are really good. That's why he's my favorite. Okay, I don't want to get rid of any of those. Um, maybe Sheep. Sheep, do you have any bad cards? Let's have a look. I don't know if I like this explode card. Like, then you have to totally terminate your, your poor, your poor spirit. But like, I guess if you're like in a pickle, that might be good. Flame feed, remove all of target's burn and regain that much HP. I don't know if I like these cards necessarily. Inspiration. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and I think our team is ready to fight. Okay, let's get out of a medallion. Um, we'll get the rest of our seeds moved another day. Let's put some Grimkins in here. And I'll sell the flag flower. And we can sell this electric cone. So now I'm thinking it is actually worthwhile to make this charm. The one that's 100% though. So there is the one that's 100% for fire. One that's 100% for... Oh, this one is for dark matter. Oh, I kind of wish I didn't actually give away my dark matter. Oh well, we'll get it back eventually. So, Moonstone Charm of Dark Resistance. So, this one is Iron Charm of Electric, 50%. And this is 100%. So, this is the one we actually want to make. So, once we get three ingots, we'll do that. But let's go do some exploring. It's time for another trip out to do some island hopping. We definitely need more Moonstone. So let's get on our glider. Where are we off to today? Is it time for us to go to another dungeon maybe? Actually, we need to make... I think, is it a torch that we need to get for the... The fall island? The fall... Hmm... I can't remember what we need. What do we need to make that? Coal and wood? No, it can't be just a torch. Okay, let's quickly go back. <laughs> We're gonna have to delay our island hopping a bit. So, maybe it was a torch we needed. thought it was a torch, maybe a lantern. No, I don't really remember. Oh, 
Okay, um... We can just bring a torch, but I don't have any wood. Okay, we wasted our time coming all the way back here because... I'm not entirely sure what we needed. Hey, Cleo. Your spirits are looking healthy and happy. Good job. Thanks. Let's have a few chats. And we failed two out of three times. Cleo is in a bad mood today. Okay, off we go. So I am just gonna go have a quick stop at the fall island here. And see what we actually need. Let's get around here. Look at all the porridgeables here to collect. Are we almost there? Not quite. Need to get around this way. And over to this point. There we are. Okay, let's see what we're actually missing. Oh, we're missing a spiky plant. Spiky plant. Well, that should be easy enough to collect. Why haven't I done this one already? Oh well, we'll do it maybe tomorrow instead. Let's find a nice island. And this island looks fine. Is there any spirits here? I want some semi-high level spirits. That I can tame. Nope, these ones are easy peasy. Let's go over to this fire island here. Ooh, there is a moonstone. We'll take that. We definitely need a fire resistance potion. But there is a bonfire up here. Oh, do I have anything for taming? I hope so. Let's see here. No taming, no taming. Uh oh. Okay, the flag flower will work, so we will use that. Okay, so Flambit is 80 HP. There is one that's 92 HP. He's a level 32. Maybe we'll try to collect him. Add him to our spirit barn. Okay, let's go after Bonefire first. Um, we'll take down his armor here. So we don't really want to use fire on any of these guys. That's not going to do very much damage, is it? I guess we'll do some earth damage. Let's go after bone fire. Ooh, these guys are hard. <laughs> Okay, so let's get a Colberry to Shimp. And we'll get one to Gemlin as well. And who are we going to go after again? Bonefire? We should probably get rid of Bonefire. At least one of them will be gone. Okay, all our energy is gone. Oh no! 
Oh, my sheep is gone. How come they can do fire damage to him? Like, shouldn't it heal him? Who knows? It clearly doesn't. Okay, we gotta avenge sheep. And I think I want to do the fallen foe next. So let's feed Flambit. He's going to require a lot of black flowers. Um, let's hope one more will work. Come with us, yes. Okay, got a preheat plant. But we'll have to revive our poor sheep. Okay, Sheep, we got something for you. Um, hopefully that is enough. Shall we give him some Will-O-Wisp? Now that we have a higher level Fire Spirit, maybe we won't be taking Sheep with us anymore. Okay, let's make sure Gemlin is topped up. Yeah, he's fine. I guess we can give him some Aplums. There you go. And Cumulo. How are you doing, bud? Yeah, there you go. We're all tapped up. Okay, so there's not much going on on this island. Um, I think we can get out of here. I don't want another fire spirit. So let's see what's down in this direction. Maybe there's another dark island. But all the dark islands are super hard. Here we go, someplace new. Nope, this one's fire too. Ooh, but there is a moonstone for us. We will take it. And we can collect our medallion here. We will take that as well. We'll go with the meditate. Now, oh, there is a spring over here. Um, maybe we should get our energy refilled. Except that's too hard to get to. Okay, we're just gonna go. <laughs> Okay, we're down to 206. Spirits on this island are too hard for us too. But could we find the Moonstone? Come on, Moonstone, shine for us. I love that we can collect seeds just from harvesting. Okay, Moonstone, where are you? This is a humongous island. And it's a good thing we have that 50% charm, though. Seeing that we have two 50% charms, it should count a 100% charm. Okay, uh... Still no Moonstone inside. There it is. Got it. Okay, anything else interesting here? Nope. Um, we can get down to the pool. But there's a bird loon down there. I don't know. Can he attack us in the water? Nope. Okay, off we go. And another electrical island. 
and it's another hard one. Okay, let's see if we can find some moonstone at least. Okay, Moonstone, where are you? We don't have time to waste. Okay, I don't see anything here. Yeah, that spirit is level 45. Definitely a tough one. So we definitely don't want to do any battle with that guy. Off we go. Just barely avoided him. Let's see what's on this side. Is there any moonstones here? Where is the moonstone for this island? Oh, we got a nice little energy spring here. But still no moonstone. Okay, I am thinking there is no moonstone here. Because I'm not finding one. Yeah, we, we searched pretty hard on this one, and no moonstone to be found. So I think we should probably head back. It's already after midnight. So let's get out our warp whistle. And we can head to bed. Uh, we did get a few gems that we can sell. So let's go ahead and sell that. We need the money. So we've got tons of plant turns to sell. We'll do that. Heat plants will keep black flower. Now this is good for taming, so I don't want to sell all of it. We'll keep a few. That should be good. All the electric cones can go. And I think that's all we're going to sell. We'll sell the gem, actually. And we can head to bed. Oh, we can actually sell one of these iron-resistant charms. Yeah, let's do one. It sells. Did I sell two? I don't want to sell two of them. Oh, no. I meant to sell one. Oh, well. Off to bed we go. So, again, we tamed one spirit today and banished two, same as yesterday. And how much did we earn though? Look at that. 7,691 coins. Mostly thanks to the iron charms that we sold for 4,000. Oh boy. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.